Hi everyone, happy Sunday and happy Easter. I am Marcy Bessaker and I am an independent demonstrator with Stamping Up and I am located in Clovis, California. Today we're gonna have a really great time. We're gonna be working on a fancy fold card and we're also going to be working on um, a sneak peek project. I'm gonna also do the fancy fold with it, but we're going to do a little bit of a um, to change it up a little bit, but let's be serious for a minute. Just kidding. When am I serious? Look at my bunny ears and my nose. No, maybe it's a cat. I'm pretending it's a bunny. It's under the bunny section. So we're going with bunny. How are you guys I'm trying to get my comments up here and see what is going on? So happy Easter. I know a lot of people aren't going to be able to make it today because they are doing Easter things. We had our family um, gathering last weekend. And so I thought that we would just come on and have some fun. And either you can catch it when you get back home or sometime during the week. Or if you're at home, you can catch it live today. Hi, Debbie. Don't I look like a bunny? I know, it probably looks like a cat, but we're going with bunny. I am live right now, yes. So if you guys are here, say hi. Because if you are here through the end of the video, you've got to be on the video because I want you to, number one, see the sneak peek, but we're going to have a prize. So make sure you stay here. Hi, Janet. So welcome, welcome, everybody. So like I said, we're going to do a fun project I already had created for today, but I have to show you guys some new product. And so I kind of changed it up a little bit to add new product and it's going to be a lot of fun. So, um, hi Terry. I, Anique, is that how you say your name? Anique, Anique. Janet, Linda, Debbie, Carla, Chris, welcome, welcome, welcome. All right. So, um, announcements really quick paper swap I have worked on my paper swap if you're in the US and you want to be a part of the paper swap what I'm doing is I'm taking all of the new paper if there's like the DSP that the new demonstrators got we're not going to do that one but we will do the in color one there's some specialty papers I will include and you don't want to miss out on that so what I'm gonna do and I'll be posting it as soon as I can I can't put the names or anything out there yet so that's why I'm kind of hesitant. I'm just probably going to put the prices. And um, I will tell you, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 packages of DSP will be in my swap. Now, that's for one price. Then that's 132 pieces of paper you'll get. So I'll cut it. I'll, it'll be quarters. You'll get six by six. Then I have a specialty swap that I would recommend adding because I can't wait to tell you what is in it, but that you'll get 13 sheets um, of that. And there's three different kinds of specialty paper in that package. So the whole total, um, you can buy them together or separate. So if you want everything, which is 145 sheets, it's $68. What I did is I took the price, divided it by four. I did shipping tax, all that included. There is no extra. I'm giving it to you, but you can try out the paper, get a little bit of everything, see what paper you love and have to have full packages of, and there you go. So if you want to do that, I'm going to have a sign up later today on my blog. So if you look at my blog at the top, it's going to say events and classes, and it will be under there later tonight. Oh, okay, N. N is fine. That's good. Enuka. Enuka is my guess. Thank you. Thank you about my whiskers. So anyway, um, I will let you know there's going to be a sign-up sheet. You can sign up, and then once you get all the details, you can change your mind if you want. But it just kind of gives me an idea. I'll give a deadline date of when I'm going to be purchasing and all that good stuff. So I'll give you more information. Yeah, that's okay. I'm still going with it. It's a bunny, um, but it's, it's Easter-y, I think. So, okay, so let's get started. So that's my paper swap. Top items. I'm going to give you my top, I think I have five items that are not gone yet, but I think they're going to be 
really soon and I think you should get them. So I'm going to give you my top five items that are leaving and we'll do a prize later today, but you've got to be online at the end. So um, hopefully you're hanging around. It's going to be a live one. It's going to be US only. Sorry. Um, randomly I will do outside, but right now I need all my money for my new stamping stuff. Sorry, but I will randomly do other stuff. Okay. Let's get started. So the card we're going to create today is this one. Okay. It's a cute, fun fold, fancy fold. I love, love, love this fancy fold. It's super easy. And then of course you can decorate the back. And I did one with the, um, I think it's called perk up or press on, press on. Um, I did that with this one. Just thought it was kind of cute just show you some different variety and then we're going to create another one after we create this one with some um, new product and I can't wait to show it to you. Thank you, Bonnie. Yes, good luck, Debbie. I've heard lots of people had no issues at all, so don't worry. All right, so a few tips and tricks on this. So let's just get started. The first thing we're going to do is you want, let me move my stamps out of the way because I'm going to need my score. You want a piece of cardstock here that is four and a quarter by eight and three eighths. Okay. I will have a PDF on my blog later tonight. So no worries. So let me get my scoreboard. Oops. That was my vertical one that my horizontal one that went kind of crazy. Okay, so here we go. We're going to score at 3 8 Again, this will be on a PDF, so don't worry. 3 8 1 and 3 8 2 and 7 8 and 3 and 7 8 I found this template in 2018 from May May Made It. So um, that was a website that I used to watch a lot, and so I... Um, I printed that out. I always try to put who I got it from and what year, if I can remember, um, so that I can share that with you. Okay, so your next piece, and I've already scored this one, is going to be three by four and seven eighths. Okay, three by four and seven eighths. You're going to score this one also, if you look, it's three eighths and one and three eighths. So the first two, I know it's going to be a little hard to see. Um, so the first two, three eighths, one and three eighths. That'll be on your, your post. So, all right. So now what we're going to do is now comes kind of an important part. We're going to be doing some stamping. This is smoky slate. I'm going to stamp in basic gray. So this one what I did is I took the birds in this set. We're using high tide. Okay, this is another one that's leaving. I really do recommend this. I love the water, the birds, the little reeds or grass here, and I love this too. So there's a lot of things you could use in other items, but I really like this. I can now, Karen. I can see your comment. Okay, so that's the set we're using. So we're going to take the birds and at first, okay, so look at your score lines. Think about which is going to be the outside of your box. So when I say your box, I mean this right here. Welcome, Christine. So I mean this is going to be your box right here, okay? So I want, I like, this is a valley. I like to score this way on my valley, not this way. So this will be my outside of my box. So once you have it all folded up, this will be, you know, the outside. So I'm going to turn it like this. So this is the outside and I am stamping the correct way. And you'll see what I mean. So, and it doesn't matter that some of this is going to be folded under. You just kind of want to put your words wherever. You don't want too many. But I just like it to look like it's natural like that. Okay, so now we can go ahead and score this part. So let me show you. You're going to score all of these lines for your box.
Okay, so now this is going to be your box right here. All right, so now think about that. And when you're going to glue this, and I'll show you a quick little secret, but now this is the top part. So see our, all of our birds are going the right way. They're not upside down. Now you want them up here. So if you notice, you're doing it on one side on the bottom with the small edge on the top. So your birds will be here. If you do your scoring on the top, it's going to be this way. And then you can flip it like this, okay? Because then your box is going to come up like this. So we want to do our birds up here too. I hope that makes sense. I, I took a lot of pictures to add to the PDF. So it will be helpful to kind of understand that because you're going to understand it now, but then in a year when you decide to make this box again, you're going to be like, oh no, trust me. That's what happened to me. I'm like, wait a minute. Where do I stamp? What? Wait, what? Okay. Hi, Marie. Welcome, welcome. Happy Easter. Okay, so now here's what your box is going to look like. So what I do is I like to fold it ahead of time and think about where your glue spot's going to be. You don't want to fold it up here and put your glue spot because then you can't open it to your box. Does that make sense? So you want to fold it up one. So not the main in between, but the next one. But the easiest way is to kind of create your box and then fold it down. Okay, I hope that makes sense. All right, so now we're going to add a little bit of glue. I like to do liquid. It just gives me a little bit of time to kind of make sure I have it where I want it. All right, so the second line down. And I like to just do that, and I like to put that on there. And we'll just set that aside for a minute. You know how quickly it it does. So we're going to let that, let that sit for just a minute. Now we're going to bring our panel in here. I, we've already scored it. And now we're going to add glue here. And there's a little trick to where this is going to go to, and I'll show you right now. So just do a little bit of glue. You know, you don't, you don't need that much because it really does like to stick. Well, hi, Carolyn. Okay, so this is dry. Bring this back in. And you're going to fold this. You don't want this like this because, look, it's coming off the top. You want this here. Remember, this is the same score width as this one. Lay this on the bottom. So you're going to push it flat. So remember, this is five and a half. So you can fit it into an envelope, okay? Five and a half. You don't want it short. Make it long. All right. I'm going to score, just move this right along. And if you want to be exact about it and where it's measuring, that's fine. But I like to just kind of eyeball it. Make sure it's close along the bottom there. You want it to touch the bottom and fold down the top. And now you want that to glue at the top there. Hi, Terry. Welcome. Hi, Susan. You snuck in. I almost didn't see you. Hi, Jana. Okay, so now that is done. So now if you look, when this folds and this folds, it should look like that. Okay? So now you've already glued the top part. Again, when this is down, this is flat. So this is your best guide to make sure that this is going in the right spot. Okay? Now, you're going to lift this flap up, and we're going to add just a little bit of glue. You don't need a lot. Maybe, I don't know, what whatever the width of this is, but I don't go that far. I just put enough to where I know that's going to stick really well and not hang over. So just lay that flat. And now I'm just going to put that on and move that aside. Now your next two pieces that you want to cut are going to be your, an accent color. And I chose Night of Navy on top of my smoky slate. And your sizes are going to be, this is three and a quarter by two and three quarters. And then this is four by five and a quarter. Again, the measurements will be on the blog. All right, then on your white panels, since we have white panels now, all right, 
So on the white panel, this one is going to be four by, oops, this one's four by three and three quarters. And then this one is three by two and a half. Okay, so this is gonna layer on this one. This is gonna layer on this one. We're gonna set the blue aside because we are going to be stamping on our white right now. All right, so let's start on the front. Now I just have to remember what colors I did. So we're gonna bring in the lighthouse. So you have the solid image lighthouse and then you have kind of the outline but it does have some solid image on it too. If you look on here, you have the outline, but then you have like a shadow, like this is shade right here on this side. It's really a cool stamp set. So what I'm gonna do first is stamp the sentiment because we wanna make sure that the sentiment is in the area that we want it. But let me grab my pad here. All right, so we'll just use this mm -hmm. as our pad. And we're gonna do the sentiment first. That way, you know you have enough space in where you're gonna put everything else. Let's just put our sentiment on. I'm gonna use the same one. There's nothing little about the light you shine. I just love positive sayings, you guys know that. Oops, wrong one. And make sure my yeah this is the right all right and i'm just going to go kind of up halfway in between leave some space on the right you don't want your words all the way to the left and then just that's just really pretty right there and then because we're going to kind of fill everything in around it and i probably didn't have to go that high but i'm fine with that i just want to make sure i have enough space for my lighthouse Okay, so for the lighthouse, I'm going to bring in my basic gray. And ink that up really good. And I'm going to go off the paper because I want the top to be on there. This is kind of a tall image. And I'm going to go pretty close over to the lighthouse. And I honestly don't remember if I did the red first or the outline first. I tend to like to do the outline first because then you can see whoop, where you can see the dark a little bit better than you can the light. So I like to do that. Now we're going to bring in real red. And we're going to take our lighthouse ink it up really good and now my head might get in the way on this one I'm gonna bring this a little closer and then just start kind of going right down on it if you look at the top you can kind of see where your image is and I hope that this is close enough Oh, see, my head's in the way. My thought. I'm a few seconds ahead of you guys, so I can totally see my head in the way when I look up. Sorry about that. All right, so there's our stamp. And while I'm right here, I'm going to put this aside really quick, pull in this one while I'm here, and let's just do at least our lighthouse you can see i just put the little shadow of the lighthouse right here on the edge so i'm just going to do that while i have this one right here remember that the longer way goes here this is the shorter width so when you look at it just make sure that that's what you are stamping on that way okay all right so that's good we'll set that back aside all right, so this one, I can tell you right now, did not stamp as nice because you can see my little red off to the edge right there. So, but it's close enough to me. 
Yeah, this is, I mean, lining things up, obviously a Stamparatus would be way better to do it with, but I know not everybody has one, and so I just kind of wanted to show that even if it's not perfect, it's still, I am, I am happy with it. No one's going to go, oh, look right there, it's messed up. No. All right, so now we have the ground, and I just chose to do it in Sahara sand, I believe. Oh, no, this is crumb cake. And so I'm just going to come right up. Now, remember, the stamp is up above, but your ground right there is lower. So bring that all the way up. And even if it's over a little bit, you're not really going to tell because you're on red. All right, so there's that. Move these so I don't stick my arm in them. All right, and then the birds again. I just kind of wanted to finish it off. So you're bringing back in your basic gray. I just, I didn't want to blend the sky blue. You could, you could take your blending tool and make it blue if you want or whatever. I just chose to take these three little birds and just kind of go off on the corner up there like that. Thanks you guys. So there are those. Now we're going to bring this in and this is good to adhere. Yay. All right. Oops, I got adhesive on the front. Oh, I got ink on the front, I think, from on here. Okay, we're going to fix that. All right, hold on. See where I got a smudge of ink right there? I think it's all over my fingers. All right, hold the phone. All right, we're going to put that back down. And we are going to come back in with some birds. Just kind of like they're flying right there. Okay, so now we have a few little birds kind of flying down. I don't know where my, I think I got it off of my, my pad. Hi, Nola. All right, so now I already have my adhesive on there. So another very important thing to get is your silicone mat. All right, so now we're just going to adhere this. All right. So we'll set that aside. Now we're going to go back onto our back panel. I can feel there's glue right there. And then on our back panel, we just did a sentiment and some sunshine. Now I choose to do the sentiment first because I don't want the yellow to smear my black. I want the black to be last. So once everything is done, we will, oh, when I think I did it, oh, I might have done this one in black, but I think I'm, yeah, I did it in black. Let's do black. I hope you guys are having a good Easter, nice and relaxing. We did our family stuff and egg hunts and stuff with my, all our nieces and nephews and, um, sister-in-laws and brother-in-law and everybody last weekend my kids are with their in-laws because they live in town oh thank you so much a thumbs up would be awesome you guys I really appreciate it okay so look how beautiful that stance it says you have the most amazing ability to take an ordinary moment and make it shine again positive thoughts I love 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 that Love, 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 love. Okay. Now we're going to take the beam right here, the light, and we're going to do it in yellow. And I did one bold one and then one off, but I really think I liked one off better. So I'm just going to one off three times, actually. Let me see if I can. I'm trying not to stick my head in there, but I want to be able to see. Okay, so you're just giving a beam of light there. Looks so pretty. 
And it's so funny because the word shine looks like it's shaky. But if you look at it, that's what it looks like. At first I thought it was bleeding or something. I was like, oh no. But that's how it is, which I, I like. So that is the back panel. So I'll just turn this over so I don't stick it in anything else. And I will add adhesive. Thank you, Stephanie. I appreciate it. All right. So there is our back panel. So we can adhere that now. For those of you that came on late, wait until you see what I did different. I look completely different today. You're going to be shocked. Shocked, shocked, shocked. Okay, so there's the back. Get these out of my way so I don't stick my head in them. All right, we're going to do this one. You could add some, um, some twine or something. Um, what I would do is maybe put some twine through here and tie it up here and maybe do a knot kind of like you are doing um you know like a sailor's knot or a nautical kind of thing so there is our first card Ta-da! and then there's our back i love this fold this fold is so much fun all right let me take a look and make sure i didn't miss anything All right, let me wipe these just quickly so I don't stick. A lot of this was dark ink. I don't want to stick my arm in it and just move them out of the way. And we are going to do some sneak peek stuff. So, yeah, there's our first card. Super fun. All right, now on to our next one. It's a super easy fold, and it's really a fun card to produce in a bulk. Like if you wanted to do, hi, see my new look? I know it's a cat. I thought it was a bunny, but the more I look at it, I don't think it's a bunny because there's no long ears. Hold on. Maybe I can change that because I really should have a bunny. Let's see. I have to look. Where's my keyboard? I'm going to try and do a bunny. Let's see what I come up with. I don't know. It doesn't search all that great. I'm looking. Oh, it's probably going to give me an error because it did earlier. So I'm going to not do that. I'm not changing it because I got an error and it closed my program down. And then I'm like, ooh, I don't want to not have my program. So we're going to go with this cute little short-eared bunny. That's what we'll do. <laughs> I think so too. I was thinking the pink nose... I should have put pink lipstick on. Okay, so are you guys ready for new stuff? I'm excited. I am excited, excited. All right, let's move. And look, see how easy these are? You just fold them flat, and there they go. Right into your... Oops, this one's not folded right. This one, like this. And now they're folded flat. And here's my other one that I showed you. So with the little um, press on stamp set. I know I needed longer ears. It was kind of last minute I decided to get it, but now I'm afraid to do it. It'll lock my program up. So that's okay. All right. So let's move on to the new stuff so I can show you. And I made some changes to the card. So I'll show you how I did that. And that will also be on the PDF. So no worries. Okay, don't forget to stay because I'm going to do a raffle or drawing or whatever. You're going to have to pick out a number. So, okay, I'm just going to set those behind me. So they look nice and neat back there. All right. Yay. 
So, can anybody guess, besides the two people that know, um, what new set I'm going to use? Of course, you can only name things that were on the pre-order because that I showed on the catalog. I love this and we'll have to try. Thanks. I know. We'll just pretend they're long. You are correct. Pansies. Yes. We're going to do pansies. And I'm even going to die cut with you a little bit because I have some stuff prepped, but I didn't die cut. And I said, I'm just going to do it with you on my little machine. So we'll get my paper out of the way. Pull in my little machine here, which I love. I love it. That That's not on my list of things that you need to have that I'm sharing today because it's not retiring. But the retiring items that I am sharing, um, you must get. So I'm going to share one with you really quick. The very first one, you know I love this. The Pretty Perennials, you guys. Of course, this is U.S. price. And this is the bundle price. So I... I highly suggest this set. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love it. I'm sad it's leaving. If you want a beautiful flower set, this is so forgiving. It's that watercolor, distinctive look. It's so pretty. So that is one item that I highly recommend. Another item I highly recommend is Forever Greenery Design. Um, love, love, love this paper. This paper is even so pretty that you could just put a nice big sentiment on it. And there's that. Um, you asked if it stood well. Let me find what I just did with the card. Okay, so here it is. All right, so you just fold it forward and then stand it up. So it does, oh, I got fuzz right there, but yeah, once you pull it out, cause you're going to get it like this and then you're going to just push it up to kind of just get it to be even and it stands great. So let's see, you can put it on a shelf and it's perfect. I would put the fan blowing on it because it'll blow off, but yes, they stand up really nice. Okay, will that fun fold be good for a swap card? Yes. I'm in the middle of a swap and I'm using that fold. Yeah. It is so pretty, you guys. That paper, um, you know how you know how I cut one and I and I chop one. So I mean I keep one and chop one. So um yep, 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 yep. Okay, so do you want to see the card first or do you want to see how the card after we're done creating, or do you want to see it now? Because we need to die cut out a few things. I'm going to die cut some leaves, and I'm going to die cut, we're not going to even color. I did stamp. I did do a lot of other stuff on another card, and I'll show you that. Okay, card first. I did make another card that's with the die cut, so I'll show you that too. Oh, Carol, no problem. We're starting card number two, which is the same fancy fold, except we're using new products. So you're just in time. So this is the card. Isn't that cute? It's just so cheerful. Look at them smiling at you. I love it. And look at the bee. Isn't that bee precious? Look how that B is just barely on there. The paper's cheerful. The, the face is there. I put the new in color. What are these called? In color jewels. The in color jewels are on there. It's so pretty. And the pink is... Uh, Thank you, thank you, you guys. Okay, so let's make it. So you notice the difference on this one is we did some DSP. So I'll give you the measurements for that too. So let's just hurry and cut a few things out. Oh, 
la la la. All right. So I think I have, let me look. I might already have a couple of flowers I thought cut out, but I might have used them on my other cards. So let's just pull out. I see I did. Oh, here they are. So here's my purple. And then I need, I have my large pack of paper. So let me grab it because that's where I got the large flowers from. Okay, so here we go. So I already pulled off some petals, some leaves here, and I might need more. And we have them right here on the front. And then I have this one where I did some flowers. So this is a perfect example on how I leave some paper large and some people's paper small. Because if I were to cut this like I do normally, my six, four, and four, then I would be cutting like right through some of these flowers and I don't want to do that. So I want these two right here. I want the large pink. We're going to do pink this time. Oh, I don't know. I did. See, this is what I'm thinking. I did purple because I did pink paper. Should we make this one purple? Yeah, let's do purple. Okay, let, we're going to change it up a little bit. All right, so now we're just going to cut these two. And you can cut fairly closely just so you don't cut another flower up because you're going to want that for something else, right? All right, so we're just going to set that aside. So we're going to change a few things here. So let's do our flowers. La la la. I love this. When that card was done, so I had the high tide one already ready to go for you guys before I even got the new stuff. <laughs> oh, thanks, Sandpiper. I just thought it would be kind of fun to do it just because it's Easter. And... I know a lot of people aren't out doing Easter today. My grandkids live away, and I am going at the end of the month to see one, and I just saw the other one, and so I thought it would be fun to do that today. But yes, I normally go. All right, but I appreciate your comment very much. Okay, so there's my pink one. I have one of my pale papaya, and I have my great one but I'm kind of thinking uh, well if we change the paper to purple I think it'll be okay I kind of like the purple because it's so bold and these are all a little softer so I am I think I'm just gonna stick with the purple because I like the boldness for this particular card and we're gonna go with this pink one here so I'm not going to change it. I'm going to keep it pink. Just because for this card, I like the bold of the purple and the pink. So we will keep these in my folder. All right, let's cut those out because I kind of like that idea. I like the boldness. I think it would just kind of not be as vibrant if we did the other one. Um, Terry, I'm going to have a PDF. I need a little bit of time to finish it because I took a bunch of pictures this morning. So, because it's kind of a little tricky to explain the stamping on where you stamp and stuff like I did on the last one. So, once I get my PDF all done, it'll probably be up tonight. But it will be on there tomorrow. If you guys are uh, subscribed to my blog, you will get a notification tomorrow by blog post. Um, it's always the next morning, usually after I post, usually Mondays and Wednesdays. So you'll have my new reveal post tomorrow, and you'll have this one tomorrow. But you can always go on tonight and find this, this post and the PDF a little bit later. All right, once I get it all done. So we're going to cut this off here. And remember, you can always 
cut these, use these too, because you're going to tuck the leaves in a little bit. Okay, see, that's weird. Refresh. Sometimes if you go out and come back in, it does weird stuff like that. All right, I'm going to do, I want the lighter ones. So we're going to go, we'll do the darker ones too. We're going to combine them a little bit. And then we'll do this guy. And you got to make sure it doesn't overlap. And that's weird because I don't have a space. So what I'm going to do is pull in my paper. And we'll just pull off a little bit more. So I'm just going to cut a little more that we can play with right now. All right. Okay, I want this one right here. So just fine. I'm going to do um, an odd number, but I want to just make sure that I have, I do five leaves because I'm doing three flowers. So I put two on the larger one. Oh, I got to make sure that this is. I ordered, I have my new plates, but I don't want to use them yet because these still work perfectly fine. All right. Yeah, it's really a fun card. Oh, thank you, Janet. That's very sweet of you. Thank you so much. Okay, so there are a couple there. So that's the light, the medium tone ones. And now I want, I think I'm going to do three lighter ones. So let's do, this guy here. Okay, that's the smaller. And then we're going to do, now I'm going to hang my paper off because we're going to get this guy down here too. But for now, we just want this one. And you could use tape when you do this if you want. Yeah, this is really one of my favorite fancy folds. I just love it. But I felt like I needed to show you guys the high tide because it's such a great set. And like I said, I had that card all ready to go to show you. And then my new stuff came. And now I'm like, well, and then I made the other one because I'm stuck on this fancy fold right now. And I was like, well, okay, we'll just have to make this one too. So today is a two, two card day. And I, I mentioned earlier, I'm going to do a drawing in a little while. So stick around for that. It is U.S. only. You know, Casey, or J. Casey, I don't know what your first name is. Sorry. But I think they are really stepping it up with the dies cutting on the paper. The paper is crossing over into, like, some paper pumpkins and some you know, other things that are super smart that they're doing right now. And I love that because it really stretches our money a long way, I think. Okay, so I have my five flowers, my two, three flowers, my five leaves, and that is all we need. So I'm going to put this back in my package. And my die is back in here. Somebody had asked me today on my blog if I, where did my paper, oh, if I put anything on my dies, I'm going to turn this over, I don't think I need to measure it, but it's a mess on the other side. If I put my dies, if I label them or kind of make them to where I can keep track of what's on my board here. So I'm not, you know, if I know if I'm missing anything, and I don't. Um, I just try very carefully to always put them right back on the board. You guys will see me before. I like to push the small ones in. Now, somebody did recommend to me that she does her dies like this. And she puts them in the opposite way. 
and then I'm assuming label them here so they're all protected here, which I think is a brilliant idea. I've not done that, and that's not a bad idea at all. Um, I have everything this way, but I just try to make sure that these small ones are down, and I've never lost one except I, I did have one that stuck to the board behind me, but this is my favorite way to um, store my dies. Oh yeah, the coordination is just crazy. Okay, so we have our flowers. So if you missed the first card, this is exactly how you do it, except we're gonna make a few changes. So we're gonna start right here. We're gonna score. Again, I will have a PDF on my blog later today, which is listed above. So we're gonna score at three eighths, one and three eighths, two and seven eighths, and three and seven eighths. Okay, then you're gonna, and your paper here is gonna be four and a quarter by eight and three eighths. Okay, then your smaller piece, same color. Um, so when I when you look at the PDF, this is the base. This color is the base right here, okay? So the base here is three by four and seven eighths. And again, you're gonna do the same scoring for just two, three eighths and one and three eighths, okay? So that's all the scoring you need. All right, so the difference is we're gonna do DSP. So you don't have to worry about what side you're going to be stamping on because we're not stamping. Okay, so just let's score our box. And I can tell on this little side I skipped my score, so I just wanna make sure it's going straight. All right, so there's that one. And then We'll score this one. Yeah, Janet, I thought about that too. But I had the catalog to look at, so. Um, Flurry Flamingo, let me pull one out. This is Flirty Flamingo. So it's definitely a really just bold pink. And I love it. It's so pretty. Let me share a bit more so it doesn't. Oh, you guys are too sweet. Okay, so there are those two pieces. Yeah, Flirty Flamingo is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite ones. Okay, so now we're going to put our glue on. And you're just going to put it on this little ledge. So before I mention, if you're stamping like we did on this one, oops, wrong one. Well, it's the same thing. But if you're here, you want to make sure your birds are flying the same way as this. So you're going to stamp on the back of the scored part and then on the front of the solid panel on top. All right, so now we're gonna fold this down. We're going to the second one like we did on the first one, but now we don't have to worry about, we'll just put that on there. Worry about um, the, the, your stamped images. So now when you have this one, we're gonna put it right at the bottom of the card. Now see how I got a little bit of glue right there? I always take my pokey tool and just take it right off, just like that. Super simple. If it's still wet, no eraser needed. Even if it wasn't, if it was a little bit dry, you can still use your pokey tool. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on our DSP and we haven't picked one out, so let's do that. So this one, 
I picked out was the smaller flower. So let me pull all this out so you can take a look. So if you look, this is the smaller flower image, which I think came out really pretty. This is a larger one. I like the smaller so you can actually really see it. We could do this one. Hi, Jana. Happy Easter. All right, what do you guys want to do? Do you want to go bolder and try this one, or should we stick to this one? I don't want to use anything too big because you won't get to see it. I used this in a different card, and I'll show you that in a minute. Left or right? Which one? What do you think? Well, that's what I think too. Why not? Let's do something fun and different. This kind of covers it all up anyway, so it's not like it's going to be overbearing, I don't think. Okay, so with your DSP, we need to cut this at, so this is already four, so and two and three quarters, and one quarter. Oh, yeah, one and one and a quarter. Ooh, let's see, two, three, half, quarter, one and one quarter. And it's already by four. All right. So always save this. Yeah, that could be saved for something different. And now we'll bring in our panel. This is so pretty. Ooh. This would be really pretty on the papaya also. Alright, so there you go. Make sure it's up enough. You don't you know you want it even so that you can put your, your box up. Okay. So what is this? Oh, there we go. Okay, and then we're gonna put this on the front. Closer to the edge right there. There we go. Oh yeah, I love this DSP. Oops, upside down. Be careful of that. There is a rhyme or reason to your project here. I'm just going to drop it because my fingers are in the way. There we go. And now we're going to take our pieces just like we did before. And we're going to take our smaller piece and we're going to stamp our sentiment. I love how these are now attached inside here. Uh, let's see. Happiness to you is what I used. And I did it towards the top because we're going to layer all our flowers up. So just kind of, and then I chose soft sea foam for my other two pieces. So for th these two here, and I already gave the measurements earlier, but it will be on my PDF. So don't worry. I do too. Okay. So I'm just going to put that on the bottom just so I know it has a little bit straight. And now my head's going to be in the way. Sorry. I agree Janet I really agree like I said all the flowers are just so different all right so yeah there's flowers but you know what I like I like flowers it was funny somebody said the other day that the older they get the more they're liking flowers I've always liked flowers 
but I like that they are really making so many different kinds. Like this one, you could use the dyes and layer up. There's distinctive, there's the watercolor look, there's just so much. All right, so let's go ahead and we're going to add this panel now. So let's add our glue. You don't want to put too much, but you want to make sure it's going to stay. Now, move your box along the line. And like I said, it doesn't have to be exact. If you don't have to measure it, if you don't want to, just kind of, you know, eyeball it. Make sure that it is across the bottom, but on the sides, it can go a little, just kind of eyeball it the best you can. And then just lay that down. Okay. Make sure that's nice and straight. And now we can adhere this too. But I'm going to actually glue this first. So now that this is glued, we're going to take this. If you joined in April, end of July. So your quarter that you're in, um, January, March, April, May, June. Well, it depends because if you're if you're joining in the middle of a quarter, that that quarter doesn't even count. I guess it depends on when you joined in April if that first quarter counts because that is your whole quarter. If you join in May, you would have May, June, and May and June, which is the rest of your quarter. And then you have your um, probate your month, your grace period month. Lisa, it is. I really like it a lot. Okay, so now we've got that. So you saw, line it here, glue up here, and then glue at the bottom. And I don't go all the way up here with the glue, just, you know, enough to, to where it's going to stay. Now I already put adhesive on here. Now this kind of card, you guys know I like to do my decorative panel before I add it, but on this card, um, you're not really going to be doing that because you are decorating the whole card and so you want to make sure everything is aligning where you need to and all that good stuff all right so the first thing I'm going to do is pop up our largest image here so let's get some dimensionals so you see how this one we are popping things up whereas this one all we did is stamp but it's and you could add twine or whatever if you wanted to I think it would be cool to add twine and tie it and then maybe do like a sailor knot or something kind of hanging would be kind of fun but there's you know some different things you can do all right I want to put this like right here okay I'm just lightly laying it down so it's not on my words all right we're going to glue this one so you don't need a whole lot of glue. Okay, now I'm not putting it down really, really hard because I want to add these leaves. Okay, and so I want to tuck them under here. Okay. And we'll get it all put together once we're, once we're, it'll, it'll lay down in a minute. We're going to add a dimensional here. And one is fine because we're going to tuck leaves in here too. So we're just going to add this little guy right here. All right. We're going to pop this one up. And I think I'm going to use my, no, I think I did use a large one here. And then I think I did a small on the, on the tip here. Oh, we're 
we're just going to put that in. Now remember, this is the bottom of your card. You don't want it to be out too far. This one, we're going to add a large one. Up here, and a small one towards the bottom. Um, that is another good thing that uh, the sail away trinkets would work really nicely right there. So see by putting your, your dimensionals right here, how you can still put your leaves in and you can still see this DSP. It's so pretty. I'll show you the other card I did in a minute. It's the one I did that was three, the, um, the die cut ones I did. Thank you, Marie. I appreciate that. All right, so I'm just kind of mixing the leaves, you know, short ones and the longer ones and kind of where you want. On um, this one right here, remember you want to make sure your dimensional is not stick sticky right here. Make sure it's in enough. And then I'm going to add one more. I just really want to make sure... Whenever they're fancy fold, I tend to like to make sure I put really enough adhesive that it's not going to go anywhere. And yes, I'm mixing up the leaves of the colors because this is a cluster of flowers. We don't know what's behind or what's on top or whatever. So now I'm going to, these two are glued down. So I wanted to push those in there. All right, now we're going to bring in our beautiful jewels are in color jewel. oh wait i didn't do the back yet Ooh, hold on wait where's my back there it is all right so let's do that and what did i do oh i didn't even oh wrong one okay so let's bring back in I don't want a large one. I want a little one. I thought I had a little one. Here we go. Oh, these are all ones that I stamped. But that's okay. We could do that. Let's, being that we're doing bold, we'll take this one. And I don't want to do the leaves, the stamped leaves. The die cut leaves because that'll look really different so let's just pull in these leaves right here we're just going to fussy cut these so we could do two little leaves yeah this would make a really cute window box and and what about putting the window set up at the top like don't do this but do the box and maybe put a little more secure under that and then put the window stamp set. That would be really cute. All right, let's just die cut. Or not die cut. We're just going to fussy cut our little leaves out. Okay, there's one. Forgot about my die cutting for the back but we can just fussy cut really quick it'll be fine all right so let's adhere this Yes, if you guys would share, subscribe, like, that really does help my YouTube channel. I really do appreciate that very much. When you subscribe, there will be a little bell that pops up, and that is your notification button. So make sure you click on that, and then when it says uh, promotion or this or that, uh, click all, because that will be my regular videos and live videos. You'll get notified that I am posted something. So that would be amazing if you could do that. So you'll notice I put adhesive just in the middle of the flower because I'm gonna tuck these in underneath. 
and we know that this glue, I like to hold it so I could just slightly bend it and then put my leaf. Same with this one. Just tuck it under, but you want it up enough to not hang off the bottom of your card. Okay, there we go. There we go. Thank you, Debbie. All right, so now we're going to add this here. Okay, I see a little bit of adhesive right here and right there. Okay, it's gone. All right, so that decorates the back a little bit. Now, what I did with the flowers is I took these in color jewels. Oh, they're so pretty and I did the yellow and so I'm going to add a large one right here on my purple and then I did the little ones oh I need some more of these right here so pretty and then I added another I'm going to add a large one up here and then we can't forget our bees Look how cute these are. Oh, my head's in the way again, you guys. I'm so sorry. I hate that. My camera, the pole that my husband put in with my camera on it, it's kind of like wonky right now. Like I think it came loose at the top. And so my camera to get it to go kind of straight over here is really close to me. And that's not how it was previously so it's kind of okay I put two I do one over here kind of on this wing and then one kind of over here because I really want to make sure that my little bee doesn't go anywhere and then I'm just going to put him like right there I kind of just tucked his wing in the words right there oh I like this paper too All right, so there you go. There's the second one with the bolder paper. So there's that, and then here is our high tide one. And then I showed you the example of the press on. That's right. We can't have our bees flying away. I'm putting them back in my baggie because I don't want to lose them. Oh, Janet, this set is so pretty. So you guys want to see the one I did with, um, okay, hold on. I got to put my important jewels away first. Um, the one that I did with the die cuts, I just played with it a little bit. And it is, okay, I'll show you guys two sneak peeks. Are you ready? So here is one that I did with the die cut. And so this is what I did with the, this is white. And I took my blending brush and I just, with the pink, with the, with the pink polished um, ink pad, and I just blended over the white. Okay, and then this is of course the paper I just cut out and I did add Wink Estella on there. I don't know if you guys can tell. And then this is the paper, but I also took the alcohol marker on top to just give them a little more color. And you can kind of see that a little bit on the stem where I kind of colored it in a little bit. And then that's a sentiment there from it and the new ribbon. This is the new in color ribbon, which is amazing. I got it in each color. It's really, really pretty. And then I just added, of course, on the bottom. Okay, so that is that one. That's a sneak peek there. And this is a different set. Ready, ready? 
This was the easiest card I think I've ever made. So I used the paper from this, um, the earth set. And then I used, this is the paper too. So I used the watercolor looking one, not the tree one. And then this is a die and this is paper. You can see the wood, the birch, the birch um, embossing folders aren't available yet. So I just cut the paper and then I adhered my die cut of the leaves on there. And that was it. And I used the, the die from the other tree set. I can't remember what it's called right now. And then I took the DSP and I added it on the bottom of it. But this is really pretty too to cut out and put in the background of something. Oops, my, I think my video was kind of stopping here for a minute. So there is a, another sneak peek. So these are sneak peeks here. These are ones I just did. I had to show you. So there you go. A bunch of cards you get to see. Okay, so I told you guys that I had some sneak peeks for you. And um, so there you go. I hope you do put them on your list. They're amazing. If you need any of the retiring items or in the future, um, any, any sales, anything that you'd like, my link is below. You can go to my blog above. There's my host code. Um, you can also just go to my blog. It's listed below. It says blog and shop. It will take you here. You could just copy my host code on the right hand side there and go right into the shop and you can um, shop right there. So that is the easiest way to shop with me. This is also where the blog will be up above um, my, my current blog post, which is going to be on a little bit later today. Up above, you'll see it says events and classes. I am going to be having a paper share. I would love for you guys to join me in the paper share. It's a great way to get an idea of all the papers and what you like and um, get to see all the stuff. Oh, Janet, the tree set is amazing. I love it. It is so fast, so quick, and the papers are gorgeous. This card took me no time at all. A couple die cuts, that was it. Super simple. Um, even the sentiment, even this box, it has like a like an embossed line around it this die comes with it too and a smaller one okay so the paper share would be an amazing way to kind of figure out your papers what you like what you want there's some papers in there even if you don't get the stamp set for example the gingham in the pant I me mean, who doesn't want the pansy set but the gingham um, in the pansy set is gorgeous there's a lot of really nice things so if you would like to even demonstrators participate in paper shares, because it gives you a variety of a little bit of everything, you can show it to your customers, but you don't have to buy everything. So everybody's in a different financial situation. If they can purchase, if they can't, I also see people that I'm like, Ooh, that's a lot of stuff to buy. They have way more customers than I do or a bigger team than I do. Um, just the same as I may have a bigger team and more customers than you do. So think about that. How much is the paper share? Um, so there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm gonna reproof this before I post it, and I can't post the names of everything. I can only post the prices. But there are eleven regular DSP packages coming. These are all new. I'm not gonna do any of the repeat ones. For example. That as a new demonstrator, you guys got the six by six designer series paper. I'm not going to do that one because a lot of people have it already. And if you don't, you can still buy it. It's a great deal. But the new in colors that come in those same designs, the new in color DSP, I will add that. So um, that will be included in this. So that alone would be $48. And this is US only, of course. And you will get 132 six by six sheets of paper. Okay. So then you're going to move down to, I have an addition to that and it is a specialty paper. So there's, there's, I, I hope I can say this. I'm not telling you what they are. There's three different amazing specialty papers. And I'm not talking about the, like the, for, forever greenery, full gold foil stuff. I'm not talking about that. This is paper. 
you will get 13 sheets for uh, $20. And that'll be divided up. There's If there's four sheets in a pack, they're 12 by 12, then you're gonna get that whole pack, it's $10. But if you want the 10 sheets of two of each color, so it's gonna be divided by two. So I'm gonna make it to where you get a little of everything. So anyway, that would be $20. So everything would be $68 and that is shipped to you. Okay, so if you're in the US, that'll be shipped to you for that amount. So if you're interested, go to my blog um, tonight. I'm gonna to put a little um, quick little RSVP kind of thing on there to register. And um, I will invoice you through PayPal and um, we'll, I'm gonna order that on the 4th as soon as I can order everything. And then I'll get the paper share together and get it out to you. Okay, so that's kind of how that's gonna work. I'm going to reproof everything, but um, quick glance last night, that looked right. Oh, you're welcome. So we're doing a drawing. What? Else? Oh, let me finish here real quick. The other three items, I, I mentioned two already. So I'm showing you my five top items that I would get if I were you that are leaving. So the Pretty Perennials, amazing. I highly recommend that. I showed it earlier. The Forever Greenery Designer Series Paper. I looked at all of these last night and they were still available. Now they are going to be leaving. So I, I'm surprised that Forever Greenery is not sold out yet. So they must have had a lot of it. The other item I mentioned the, the other day, the All Wired Up Clean Stamp Set um, with the chicken set. It's such a cute set to go with it. So I highly recommend that. My beloved, beautiful friendship. I'm so sad this is going. I highly recommend it and I'm going to show you a project that I did with it. Well, only one of the projects, I've had many, but I'll show it to you so I can grab it. And then last but not least, I highly recommend the stitched shape dies. The stitch shape dies are so universal. The circles, ovals, squares are so great. I highly recommend those too. I'm super sad that these items are leaving, but I just wanted to share it with you that I really think they are uh, a fantastic, Ooh, my nose was getting warm, <laughs> just kidding. Um, I was, that they're fantastic sets and those are something I'm gonna be keeping um, and not getting rid of, retired or not. So I wanted to share that with you. Uh, so the beautiful friendship, this is one I made and I believe I did a blog post and a YouTube video on this and inside, I mean, this set is so forgiving. You can stamp and just stamp and stamp and it's just so gorgeous. And then I did, oh, this one's empty, but I did cards to match. Um, so this, oh, I did my envelopes though. Oh, here we go. I did one card in this one. I didn't put my sentiment on it yet though. Cause I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. And then I did my envelopes. Oops. So super simple, super cute. Um, but a gr really great stamp set that I'm sad that's leaving. All right. Are you guys ready to win a prize? Yay. If you're ready to win a prize, I have 50 people live on here right now. Don't put a number yet. Cause I haven't written one down. Let me think. I know I'm sad it's leaving. Okay, so between one and 50, I want you to pick a number and I have written a number down. So one and 50, go ahead. You are going to win. If you already have it, um, please let others win it. It will be the Pinch Party stamp set. And this was a host set. Now, if you get this set, oh, I gotta pay attention. Okay, I, I caught up. If you get this set, um, you need to get the uh, double oval punch. It goes perfect with it. So the number is between one and 50. Watching, watching, a lot of close ones. Ooh, so close, so close. It's 
still watching. We're still guessing. This is live. If you're watching this on instant replay or on replay, um, the winner will be drawn. Oh, uh, Janet McLam. Janet McLam. Yay. Janet McLam. Janet, congratulations. If you can send me your address, um, you can send it to Marcy at MarcyBessaker.com. And I will get this mailed to you tomorrow. Tomorrow's Monday. Yes. Thank you, everybody, for playing. Yay. Congratulations, Janet. And I'm glad you guys liked our little fun fold. This is one of my favorite fun folds because it can sit up. And, you know, honestly, you know, when you do the tent cards like this, and then the tent cards tend to kind of start falling or the other cards start kind of bending out. This to me, I think just sits up really nicely and it's a great little display. Super fun, super easy card. So let me get busy finishing my PDF for you and grab something to eat. I'm hungry. You are so welcome. Thanks, Terry. It was number 35. Draw again. Oh, you already have it? Oh, okay. Well then. Thank you, Janet. Let me see. All right. We're going to do another drawing. And we've lost a couple people, so stay on. I'm going to cross out that number. All right. Again, between 1 and 40. We'll just go down a little bit. Between 1 and 40. Oh, Karen, you're very sweet. Thank you. Janet has opted to let it go again, so between 1 and 40. I'm watching, I'm watching. It would be too hard to scroll back up and find the number, so we're going to go again. If you don't have it, Janet, still send me your address. I'm going to send you a card. Oh, so close, you guys. Oh, Terry P. Terry P. Terry P. Terry P. Send me your address. The number was, went from 35, which I crossed off, to 33. So, Terry P. Feline, we are just finishing up, but it was a super fun Class, we made this card, this fancy fold. It folds flat, goes in your card, and then we upped it and did the new, the new goodies. And oops, where's my camera? The new goodies, and we did this with some, some jewels and our little bee and our pretty paper. All right, so G uh, Terry P, please send me your um, address. Oh, yeah, you will have to. It's, it, we had fun. And um, so Marcy at MarcyBestCard.com, send me your address. And then also Janet McLam, please send me your address. I'll send you a card. Thank you for um, saying that you have that, and I'm going to pass that on to somebody else. All right, everybody, have a fantastic rest of your day. Relax, have a good time. It is Easter. Call your loved ones if you haven't been able to uh, see them today. Oh, let me write that down because it goes away and it takes a couple days, like a day or so to come back. Look around. Okay, I got it. Yeah, sometimes our comments, um, they go away for like a day and I'll come back tomorrow. But I want to get your card out in the mail um, tomorrow. So, thank you. All right, everybody. I will see you on Tuesday. Um, I don't know what I'm doing yet. Something fun, I'm sure. So, we'll see you then. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching. I really appreciate it. A thumbs up, a like, a subscribe would be awesome. Um, if you want to go over to my blog... And subscribe over there you can always look back do a search 
find my PDFs and my directions and measurements and the videos are there too. So if you miss something and want details, you can always go back there and I'll do announcements and classes and the paper share will be there um, probably tonight. And again, it won't be in detail, but I can tell you it's probably the best paper share I've ever had. It's a little more expensive because you're going to get a lot more paper. All right. Bye, everybody. See you on Tuesday.